everyone it's rachel here and we are going to do a video and today i wanted to pay homage to uh heather from ruby and pearl um so yeah i've been thinking about her a lot over the last few weeks um she had a, a family tragedy which she shared on instagram and i it just has it's just such a sad thing and so i just want to i've been thinking about her a lot so i wanted to do one of her projects um to pay homage to her and let her know that um i'm thinking of her and lots of i know lots of you are and uh i know um lovely leslie is and she's had a lot of support um because she's greatly loved here on youtube and i'm hoping she'll be feeling better soon and and come back because we really miss your videos heather i don't know if she's watching or anything like that but um i i certainly miss her videos i loved them and looked forward to seeing them she's very very creative and and clever so i'm going to link her shop in the description box um she has some wonderful digitals i actually don't have any of her digitals i must have a look there and um there are just so many i never know what i would like to buy but they certainly i sort of certainly feel like that heather's digitals would complement my digitals um i could certainly combine them and use them together a bit like i can with tracy and even andrew i haven't used hers for a while and um obviously medieval mirage her digitals are wonderful actually need to have a play with those soon um, yeah, so I'm paying homage to Heather, but I don't have any of her digitals. I probably should have done that beforehand. Um, so I don't know. I'll just use some stuff that I've got printed up here and then maybe I'll go down afterwards and purchase something from her and, um, let's see what we'll use. I'll purchase something from her and then, and maybe I'll come back and do another video with Heather's digitals. So, um, yeah, so thinking of you, Heather. This is a thinking of you, Heather video. I'm just trying to find some digitals that would go together. And I'm going to make, I just, I've watched it like multiple times. Heather is another one of those um, wonderful creators that I watch her videos multiple times, like millions of times. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've watched Heather's videos um and and yeah there's quite a few that i do that i can't help myself i i it's like you have to absorb it by osmosis it's like it doesn't soak in so you have to watch it again and again and again and again so i'm just going to tear off the white edges of these papers and i'm making her um she had made this um tag i can't even now you see i probably need to watch the video again and, and that way you know do it properly um certainly she i think she printed on more stronger paper than what i've got here i've got um i've got just regular copy paper i might even just pause the video and go and get my ipad um and and then i will um i could have her video going while i while i do it that would be fun it's like I'd have the volume down. I'm just going to tear these anyway. So how is everyone? I hope you're well. Um, we've Lulu and I have decided to nickname Steppy Bad News Daddy because you know he comes home with two pieces of bad news, and then he'll he'll no. First of all, he'll say, "Oh, good news," and then he'll tell us one little piece of good news, and then he'll come he'll come back with the, the bad news. There's not a day that he doesn't come home without bad news. I mean, even he's it's a public holiday today in San Marino, so he's at home. I'm sure his ears are burning. Um, and he went to, oh, they were delivering like, you know, um, the internal doors. We've only got three because, like, you know, it's an apartment. It's not that big. Sorry about the bashing there. They're bashing particularly hard today. Um, and, and not at my house. So, you know, we're in the rental. So, you know, I felt like that's our karma, us having, you know, renovations next to us. <laughs> because we've made the people suffer at our place. Um, isn't that pretty? So um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so they were delivering the, you know, the, the loo and the doors and they were supposed to be delivering extra tiles because we had ordered extra tiles, but somehow we didn't get extra tiles. Um, and so 
uh, what did I want to say? Yeah, they were delivered, but there were things missing, and then, and then they're not. And then they say, no, they're not going to come until the beginning of July, and I'm like, oh my goodness! So you even came home from that with bad news. I'm just going to pause my video and go and get that. I've got Heather going. I'm I'm letting the full ad run so she can get full benefit of um, me watching her video for the umpteenth time. I need to tear down this paper. Um, a little bit more. Hopefully, I didn't tear off too much. Yes, that's good. So basically, Heather started off with a piece of packing paper, and this is um, this came in a box of Amazon. You know how they give you that huge box for one little thing, and then it's just surrounded by paper. This I'll show you. <laughs> this was all in one one box with one little thing in. I ironed it. Doesn't look like it, but I ironed it. So I thought it's a good paper to use, and it's a good paper to also. Um, paint on so I want to put this here now I don't remember exactly what Heather did I probably wasn't paying enough attention but I know that she created a pocket here I wanted to fold this down so maybe I could well I need to tear it because I want to keep the wonkiness I don't want it to be so what I might do is turn it over Have you ever seen anything so weird I knew what I'm going to do first, actually. I want to tri-fold it because she tri-folds it. So I'm going to tri-fold it so then I know. Divide it into three. So Heather's, Heather's video is now starting. I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, no, I think I want it a bit narrower. You know me. Messy Rachel. Okay. Because I, I want mine to go, in, like, to be able to... Or be... Um, you know, tied just tied under the sari silk on the front of the journal, or um, tuck into a pocket of a bigger journal. So, oh, it's so pretty, Heather. I'm just looking at. I've just it's her video is just starting. I'll link the video in the description box. So what I'm going to do is tear this to here, like so. This is what I mean. Very messy. So that's going to glue on there like that. We want to see the brown paper because that's what Heather did. We're doing what Heather did. So that's like that. And then I want to flip this over and I want to tear here where the crease is. And you'll see why I want to keep this. This That's going to be straight because I want to fold that down because mine's not printed on... I um, actually need to turn it over. Mine's not printed on... What's it called? Copy paper. So... It does need to, um, I mean, it's not printed on, come on, Rachel, get your act together. It's not printed on, um, let's blame it on the heat. It's not printed on, excuse me, it's not printed on, um, should I say that again? <laughs> it, on, uh, you know, cardstock. And this one here was, in Heather's video, it was a pocket. The other ones are not. So, from what I remember. Because what she's just showing it now. She's showing the project. It's the introduction of the thing. So that's going to go there. Is that weird that it's straight? No, I think that'll be all right. Because um, that will tell us it's a pocket. And so that's going to glue on there. And I'm going to actually do something different to Heather. I'm going to put a little notch here. Right? And then also, so now we've got to, so what we need to do, I'm going to use this glue, not my glue stick. Um, yeah, no, I'll use my glue stick for there. And then I'll use that glue for the middle because the middle is a pocket. So I need to put my glue here. And I really would like to do one with Heather's papers, maybe even mix them in with my papers. Because as I said, I feel like they really do complement each other. And I know there's a... Like Leslie, for one, who's one who just pops into mind, she um, definitely mixes them all up. And I think they probably go really well because I love everything French. I love everything Italian as well. And I know Heather loves everything French. And so um, and she has a lot of wallpapers. I think I would like one of her wallpaper kits because I don't have a lot of wallpapers. Um, except, you know, the public domain ones. So I'm going to put my glue around here because that is a pocket. But I'm going to do what Heather did. She filled it in here so that it wasn't too deep a pocket. So you didn't have to put some big whopping huge 
tag in it. There we go. Oh, this is, I'm already having fun, guys. Already having fun. I love the randomness of it too. Like not having to be too precise, just a little bit. She's a girl by my own heart. No rulers. Oh, look, I've got a bit of overhanging there. Doesn't matter. We'll fix that. Let's glue it down. I might run my card over it. Cool. Such a cool project. I can't believe it's taken... Oh, no, it's okay. It's taken me such a long time to do it. Um, I watched it many moons ago when it first came out. Then forgot about it. Then I went and saved. Then I've been... As I said, I've been thinking about Heather, so I've saved a whole lot of her videos that I've watched mul already multiple times in my watch list. And I'm, and then someone else posts a video, so then I can't, don't get to them all. But I did watch this one yesterday, and I thought, I'm doing that. Doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. Now, I do like this. I like the contrast. I could do this one, or I could do this one. That would be the more obvious choice, or... You know what else I would like is something scripty. Do I have anything scripty in here? Um, I've got multiple things. I know they're all Steffi's tags. Oh, multiple prints. Multiple prints. Multiple. Oh. Um, I really should have done this with one of Heather's kits. Well, if it doesn't take me too long, but then I've got to decorate the outside. I can't remember what she does on the outside. That's why I've got the video on. Because I don't remember things. Memory like a sieve, as you all know. I've told you that many times. No, don't have anything there. Um, no, no, I don't want to use the ones on. Okay, let me see. Now, I did see we had the owner of this place came over yesterday because they had to, excuse me, they had to um, clean the gutters. And so we had to do a big, we just, we just, we're a very disorderly family. We're very, we do become very disorderly. And so we did a big, um, you know, just putting everything away. We didn't have to clean so much because we'd already done a big clean um, a little while ago, like a week ago. Um, we even, you know, cleaned the garden and we didn't want, we don't want to give a house back with a dead garden. Um, that would not be a smooth move. So we did um, clean the garden and do all of that sort of stuff. I think I'm going to use this one. Um, and so anyway, so she came over yesterday. So I did have to, um, I really tidied up my room. So I'm just, you know, I just have to refine things. Oh, see this here? This is a fresco in my mother-in-law's cousin's place. It's a fresco. Now, oh, oh, I've already done a boo-boo, Heather. I've done a boo-boo because Heather folded hers up. She had a pocket. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I want I want the um, paper pocket like Heather. So I'm going to tear a piece off here. It's not like I'm lacking in um, brown paper, paper packing and paper. She folded hers up. I've already done a boo-boo. So, oh my goodness. Pausing it was it. not fun to listen to. Um, so I'm going to just tear this across here, but I want to hand tear it across the top. I need to tear that. I'm going to hand tear that. I want it to be, you know, more messy. It needs to be hand torn. Yes, she did fold it up. I'm seeing the, the video now. She. So that's my boo-boo. You need a bigger piece of brown paper, paper bag, and you need to fold it up the top, at the bottom. Depending on how long this takes me, I might even, I might need to tear it down a bit further, yes. I might even go down and purchase one of Heather's kits and come back and make another one. We will see. So just tearing across here, and I do apologize if that drill starts again. You're gonna hear it, you'll get a fright, because I got a fright. Um, and I need to, t Lulu, oh, Lulu's piped up, someone pushed her button, she's got a fright, she got a fright as well, it's pretty frightening, I'm sure Steffi got a fright downstairs as well, we all got frights, right, so that is going to go on there, what do we think, I think that's going to be very pretty, I think I need to tear it down just a little bit further, because I want to see more of the paper, 
Oh, I've done it totally wrong. I've done the whole thing wrong. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's wrong. Oh, well, we'll do an, I'll have to do another one, guys. We'll do another one. So I'll glue that on there, and then I'm gonna, I will go and um, I'll have to do another one because I've done it wrong. We'll do one the wrong way and one the right way. Oh, dear. What a goose. So I see I've already done it in my interpretation of Heather's project. Totally my interpretation because <laughs> I've done it wrong. But it's not, I mean, it will be all right. It's wrong, but right, if you know what I mean. There we go. So that's going to go on there. And then I'm going to glue it on and then we'll get our folds back. Oh, no, I need to get my folds now because um, I don't know where to glue it. So let me clip it on in the center. And I'm going to get my folds happening there. So I can see where to glue and is that kind of straight? Yeah, and there. Okay, so let's see. I can turn this and then I need to put glue down here because that's a central pocket. Glue here and glue here. And glue, glue there. Although that's not really necessary, but I've done it. Okay, so you'll see what I did wrong when I do another one. I need to just slide that over a little bit. There we go. I'll redo the creases. Okay, so that like that, and that like that. Oh, and I don't don't fold it until it dries. Okay. pocket that's a pocket and that's a pocket so that's the inside and then I don't remember what happens so I'm just going to pause the video and then I'll be back my goodness guys so I had left the video I thought I turned it off but I had left it on and you had me sitting there with the volume on listening to Heather <laughs> so I had to clip that bit out so I now know what I'm supposed to do so I'm just gonna because my page is wonky whereas hers was a bit more straight I'm just gonna clip this on here and then this is going to be my outside. Um, and then I'm going to tear the paper underneath along the line of my brown paper, more or less. It'll be a more or less business. It's not too hard. You just do that and flip it over. And, it, and Bob's your uncle. And Bob was my uncle, actually. There you go. And now they've started the drilling again. I'll be back in a okay, second. So I'm back, guys. <laughs> I spent some time downstairs because the drilling went on for on and on and on. So I did buy some of Heather's kits. Um, I bought number six because she has really a lot of kits with um, wallpapers. So I'll just show you. This is number six. Here. This is in the spirit of showing my support for Heather been meaning to do it for quite a few weeks now this is number seven they're absolutely lovely now they are us size papers i just adapted to page and so little bits have been cut off but that's okay so this is number seven just gorgeous i know i'm going to have fun with these and then number 17 and i saw leslie was using this one and i love that so i love the brown um so number 17 i got as well and so I'm going to make another one of these pouches, these tag pouches, and try and get it right this time. So that's that. So they're the three kits I bought from Heather. I had the intention of buying one, and there's so many lovely ones, I bought three. Right, so now I'm going to glue this on here. Just totally glue it. I'm just going to whiz around. Oh my God, and they've started drilling. Well, I'm just going to have to keep on going, guys, or we'll never get this video done. Um, well, I might pause it. I'm just going to put my glue on and glue it in place and then I'll come back. So here I have glued mine down and we'll wait for that to dry a minute. And now I'm going to make one the correct way. So I've just torn a bigger piece down. I'm going to get that piece off. If I have a straight edge, it'll make my life easier. And I'm going to make a quick one 
Heather's method. So I'm going to fold that up. That's going to be my other pocket. And then I need to choose some of her lovely papers here. And she did. I did my, you'll see my boo-boo in a minute. Um, now I might have to put a page sideways. I've just got to choose one. And bearing in mind, I might use this one in the back. Because bearing in mind that she put a pocket, she put had two pieces cut rectangularly. So I'm going to put this sideways or will I do this one? I might do this one. Because it doesn't matter if I cover some of that up because it's an all over pattern. So she, I'll show you what she did. Um, and you'll understand how I made my bibu. Right, I'll try and be quick because we've already made one, but I just, you can go and watch Heather's um, video and make it the correct way, but I, I just wanted to use her kit really. It's just an excuse. It's going to be the longest video ever and full of multiple parts. And I'm just checking. Now my camera's lopsided, I can see that. Excuse me. Um, I have to keep, I have had to keep turning the, the thing off every five seconds. So I'm going to tear that. Let's see here. It's going to be long enough. So I just need to get that off. I might tear this down a little bit because it's wider than what I want. Excuse me. Probably don't need to worry about the bottom so much. Okay. So let's just tear off this bit. Okay, that's better. Yes. So I want this bit to fit. I want that. I want to keep the, the bit at the top because there's more of the roses because this is going to mostly be covered up by the another sheet, which is where I made my error. So I need to fold this up and that piece will come off. I'm going to fall off my chair in my agitation. So this is going to fold on here and glue on, sorry, glue on there. And then we're going to have one in the front that's going to be our pocket section. And I'm just going to choose which one do I want to use. I mean, I bought three kits. Did I need three kits for this project? No, I certainly did not. <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. Of course, I've mixed them all up now, so we won't know which is which. I'm thinking I might go for the grey. Yeah, I think I'll go for the grey. Yep, I'm going to do the grey. This one. So I'm actually just going to... I think I'm, I'd like more of that pocket. So I'm going to... Excuse me, why am I doing that? I want to keep more of this. So I need to just... Fold it down like what Heather did, and then she just tore it by hand. So it's a little bit ripped. Okay, and then um, I need to just take off these edges. I don't need to take the bottom off. And then they are going to glue on there. But what I need to do is do my... Actually, I want to take that bit off because I've got too much at the top. So, sorry. Let's do it this way. So, I ran my nail along there. So, it hopefully, will tear a bit better. It doesn't really matter too much. This is not going to be too deep a pocket. So, I probably won't glue it like the other one. where I made the pocket smaller and I am going to she glued them together like this and she trifold did the trifold so but I think she did the trifold with with it on this as well so let's no I think I don't know I can't remember anyway I'll do it like this so I'll trifold it here there and maybe a little bit more over So you can see where to glue it. More or less. Is that correct? Yes, that'll do. So, and then what she did, which is the correct way, um, her well, Heather's correct way, is she put her glue here. Turn you back on. 
I did. Hopefully they're going off to have lunch, those noisy men next door. Honestly, it's been, been terrible. Steph said their plumbers are here. It's the plumbers. I said, how can they possibly, what else do they need to drill? They've been drilling for months. He said, it's the plumbers. They're drilling. They're having a go at it. I'll put glue on there, but it doesn't matter, it's going to be glued on here anyway. Okay, that should be enough. Oh, and I'll need some glue across the bottom there, dingling. Right. Okay, and now I need to just sort of eyeball it a little bit and put it on here. It doesn't really matter. Smoosh it down. Get your thing. Nope, no lunch. They're still bashing, but they're not drilling. That's good. Okay, that's that. And this is a pocket. Okay, and then I need to glue it on, on there completely flat. So um, I think it'll be easier for me to use my glue stick. First of all, actually, what I'll do is I'll put my glue stick all in the center, and then I'll just use the wet glue around the edge. Now, oh, I ripped it. Now you could you could actually leave that a, a central pocket again. Like I mean, you can have multiple pockets in this project. There are a lot of pockets, but as Heather said in her video, there is enough with the way it's been created. You really don't need that many pockets. Because remember, you need to fill them all. Unless you're sending a happy mail, and you might want more pockets. Happy mail might be the cause for more pockets. So I will link all kits below. I will link Heather's channel. I'll link her video. Well, I'll link her video and then you can get to her channel from there. And I will link the, her kits that I purchased and I will link the kits of mine that I used and everybody will be happy. Except for husbands or girlfriends. Okay, so I'm just going to flip it over and make sure it's glued down. And there we go. And then we're going to flip, this is going to glue up. So I think Heather then did her folds here, which I'll find for me is, I probably should let it dry, but anyway, it is what it is. That's it. That's it. There we go. Okay, I've got my fold. So then I can glue this and then I can put my other paper on. And I'm not going to use that glue. I need to use this glue. Glue here. Don't need to glue the bottom, bottom really. Um, probably don't need to glue there, but I will just for good measure on both sides of the crease. I know I lose a little bit of real estate, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and put that there and glue it down. A lot of gluing, but it's a nice quick project, Heather. I thought it would be longer, but it's quick. Oh. No, that got glued down. It was only a central pocket. I got confused for a second. And now I need to get some paper for here. And I don't know what I want to put on. I kind of would like, maybe I'll grab, if I've got any of my, my own script. I think we've got enough pattern. I think, oh, I could put this one there. That's what I do. I probably should have torn it before. I think I'll have that down the bottom. I think I should have torn it before I put it on. I definitely should have done that because I can't see where because it's it's slopey. Um, so I'll have to feed, I'll just have to wing it now. I'll see if I can run my finger across, and um, and I'll need to add something because it's a bit narrower this one. I want to run my finger across there to give myself an idea, kind of where to tear it. Quite like that. Need to get that bit off. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna cover that anyway. And I do just I like that how that's going. I just need to tear off a bit more here. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna put that, I might put it more over that side, like that. Tear that little bit off there. Um and I'll put a little bit of something there. So let's just again put the 
we'll put the glue the glue stick in the center and just so that way I'm not um, sort of getting glue everywhere that's why I'm only just putting it in the center and then I just go around quickly with the wet glue around the, the edges to glue those down properly such a fun project longest video ever but we made two I haven't done the outside yet but we'll do that that's just one sheet so I said I was going to glue it more over this way and I think tomorrow what I'll do is I'll make we'll make tags and stuff to fill them we'll fill them with I don't know we might fill them with other stuff that's a bit crooked but anyway I'm going to put a little bit of something here and I could just take maybe not the gray one maybe i'll take this piece of the of heather's blue one so, tear off a bit more and i'll just tear that bit off if i can and patch that little bit up that's why you keep your strips i chuck them over there but then i get the ones with pattern on them i take them out i bring them you know i put them back in my um scrap pile so to reiterate how Heather did it, she um, had her bigger piece, then her smaller piece. She glued them together first. She then slid them under her folded up piece, glued it all down, and then and she created the pocket in the center, and then these are pockets as well. But before I fold it, we're going to do this side, and I've got overhang here. That's not good. Because I did put it on crooked. I've got to be careful not to snip the bottom of my pockets off. If I did, I would just slip some glue under there. It's not a problem. So then I've got this side that needs something. And remember, it's going to be trifold. I'm going to see what I can find in Heather's. These are sideways, so I don't think I want sideways. Um... Well, that's kind of sideways, I think, that one, but that could be pretty. Oh, this one. Let's use this one. You see? Some script would have been nice. This one or that one? What have I got on the other side? No, this blue one. This one's perfect. Number seven. This is in number seven. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to just tear that two ed these three edges off. We'll be done in a sec. Then we'll f I think I want to put something on the front. She put some beautiful trim. She put really beautiful trim. I don't know where I've put my sari, my, um, you know, the beaded sort of sari trims. I don't know where they are. I don't know if I brought them or not. They might be downstairs. Um, she did put some lovely fabric. I don't know. We'll see about that. We'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's video, we'll be filling them. And, oh, and I was going to hand tear that just a sec. And we'll be filling them and... Um, what did I want to say we'll be filling them and decorating the exterior possibly so I'm going to put that there and I'm just going to fold this down like so and I'm going to try and carefully I want to hand tear it I, don't, I want it to be a little bit wonky let's see yeah this is how I want this is what I want what I want. Yeah. Wonky as. Okay. I can't remember which way is my, um, which way is the front. But anyway, I'll just get gluing, get on with it, get on with the job at hand. Get my glue. We do hope to see you um, back at, you know, whenever you're feeling better, Heather. I so look forward to your videos and seeing your wonderful creativity flourish. I really do. I really wish you well and your family. Getting teary. I'm going to stop. Okay. Right. So put that there. 
And you know, I might want to address this tomorrow, but we'll leave it till tomorrow. We're going to revisit. I have done one of Heather's tutorials before. I did the beautiful tags with the communion cards that she did, and I gave one to Mum, and Mum just loves it. Um, right, so this will fold now. It's, it's still a bit damp. It's going to fold like that and that. But I think I prefer this to be... No, it's not going to fit. I folded it like that. That's it. So this does need some embellishment. I quite like that, but I might decide to rip it off. I'm not sure. So we'll finish these off because Heather's finished off were just beautiful, like everything that she does. Um, I'm going to fold this one just to have a little peekaboo, but then I think I'll lay it flat. I think that one's folding in that way. So I folded that one differently. So that's going to be the front that way on this one. Okay, but I want to lay it flat because it all creases. If it's not dry, it doesn't. It Look how it creases because it needs to dry. Okay, so we will finish these off tomorrow. Sorry it was such a long video. Um, but anyway, I had fun. I hope you did too. Um, maybe make one as well in the meantime. And we will be back tomorrow to fill the pockets and possibly decorate the front and finish them off. So thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.